All right. Look what we got here. This is a. Uh, this is going to be a special little project. I was talking to the uh, our, our department uh, admin, and she had mentioned that uh, she had an old lantern that uh, was in a box, and you know I'd been talking to her about doing lantern restorations, and I said, well, shoot, you know, if you want to bring that in, I'm happy to get it up and running for you. So she said, sure thing. So here it is. I mean, I always like when these things come in boxes, you know, someone took the time to, to put this together. So to protect the, the liner that they've got, which I think is always pretty cool. And uh, at any rate, she uh, brought it in, take a look at it. And lo and behold, it's a 202 professional. <laughs> So, didn't really quite expect that. Even comes with a uh, uh, a sparker, which you know, yeah, it still works. Probably needs a little another flint on it, but or actually, probably using it the right way is probably helpful. But at any rate, um, so what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, get this thing looking like uh, like brand new. So uh, I haven't done a thing with it yet, just kind of looked at it. It's got the reflector on it, which is a, uh, which was an option. Usually when you see the ones with the reflectors, they don't always have the bail, but the bail is correct because it's stainless and it's not rusting. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's no fuel in it. Uh, this is a little bit loose. So we're gonna, we're gonna take this off first, just to get it out of the way. And uh, we'll probably do a separate little polish job. There's a fair bit of uh, rust that's on here, but we'll see what we can do to bring that back to life. So we're just going to set that aside for a bit. And uh, take a little bit closer look at what we got. So with these things, I like to kind of see, you know, what's, what's still working. So um, uh, the tip cleaner is frozen, so that's not moving. The... Uh, no, the, the knob works perfectly fine, so that's that's good. We've got a a spare O-ring on the uh, on the uh, the pump here, which is different, but uh, it's all right. Let's see if we can get any. No, nope. leather's very dry, but we can fix that. I'm pretty sure the cap gasket is shot. Um, although it is it gonna come off? Yeah, come on, baby. There she goes. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure how the, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's see what we can smell in here. Smell nothing, nothing at all. Oh, the, the globe's cracked. Well, that's, that's a shame. Uh, cause I saw on the globe here that it was, it's a, it's a red letter, but, uh, it's, uh, it's cracked on the, on the back side here. So, uh, that is a drag, but that's okay because there's uh, new globes available and, uh, just replace that and, Good to go. We got plenty of mosquitoes around here, so um, oh, missed. Anyway, so uh, what we'll do is just do the regular kind of refurb thing that we normally do. So step number one, uh, and this will probably end up being a, uh, a two-part here because we're gonna we're gonna get the um, we're gonna see if it'll light up. Obviously, we want to do that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this cap gasket which uh, it's not wanting to come out, but that's all right. We got the convincer. Get that to drop out of there. Okay. Hmm. Really didn't want to come out. That's all right. Try tapping it. This way a little bit. Hmm, interesting. It just wants to come out at an angle. It looks like someone has put a uh, another uh, another gasket on top of the gasket, and I think that is what is causing the problem here. Let's see if we can pop that out. No, it doesn't want to. Kind of wants to come out, but. Not completely. See if we can. There we go. Yeah. So someone had put a uh, another gasket on top of the the old one, and now that comes right out. <laughs> so that's that's that. 
this uh, this gasket, I don't know what it is. Uh, we're not keeping it. It's hard and garbage. This O-ring has no place on this, so that's garbage. This is the uh, one that needs replacing, and you all have seen this many a time. So we're going to do the... Uh, actually, instead of torching my vise, <laughs> I'm going to torch the brick that I brought here for this purpose. So, um, so yeah, we can... Light up the brick. I've got some water here. I got a torch here, and uh, and off we go. Plenty hot, so we'll just pick that up, put that in there, and it's like instantly clean. So that's uh, it's pretty good. Although my brick is still quite hot, so we'll pick out this last little piece that didn't want to come out because that's where my uh, my pliers were. Oops. That's a that's a good thing about throwing this in here while they're while they're hot because the steam that's generated will um, will blow the uh, the old gasket right off and clean it all in one shot. So that's pretty much exactly what happened here. I mean, it is uh, pretty much completely clean. Um, so a little bit of swishing around in there looks pretty good. Uh, just gonna wipe it down here. So, uh, weather report says tomorrow is the, uh, is the first cool front coming this way. So I think I'm probably going to be kicking myself later saying, why did you do this on the day that it's really, really hot uh, when you could have just waited a day and, uh, done it in a day when it's not? Well, you know, I don't always make the smartest decisions, but uh, I really wanted to kind of get this thing going because uh, I just got it from her on uh, on Thursday. And uh, I wanted to be able to bring it back into the office uh, when I go back in on, on Tuesday. And I think that's a, a pretty doable, pretty doable thing. Of course, this, this video probably won't show up for several months because, you know, I am kind of, I got a, a decent backlog going, which is great because then over, uh, shoot, this may be around Thanksgiving when this one gets published, but anyway, um, it gives me some time so I can be with friends and family over the holidays and then not have to worry about, oh, if I got the next video up or not. So anyway, so that is that gasket in there, a new one from Bassnets. Still my, uh, favorite folks to, uh, to get the, uh, the, the replacement gaskets from the, I remember that I dropped a piece of steel wool here the other day so here we go I'm just gonna kind of clean off the uh, the 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 rim of where it where it seals it's uh it's really pretty clean and like I said they had zero smell in it whatsoever so uh, so that part's good so there's no weird gas in there or anything like that. And uh, yeah, so that'll seal up nice. Now we've got to get the, we're going to get this pump out of here because it needs to soak in some Neat's Foot oil. I'm, I'm willing to bet that the, uh, huh. this is interesting, it's got a, oh no, that's fine. I thought that was just a pin there, but no, it actually has a, uh, a, 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 a head on it. So let's get this super tiny screwdriver in here because that is a very very thin slot and get that out get it in our little parts tray here yeah i'm hoping that we can just kind of rehab the leather by just soaking it in some oil and so while we're getting the rest of this thing unstuck and moving 
and maybe a rinse of the tank, then uh, this can be soaking. Oh, it doesn't feel too bad. It just feels dry. Yeah, it looks to be in really good shape. It's just a little dry. So, uh, all good. So, I keep this around here so I can just stick this in here and just burp, let it soak. And uh, take a look at that. Let's see, what else should we do while we're waiting? Yeah, we're going to get that uh, tip cleaner unstuck. And um, so while I'm doing that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the bale out. Pull the bale out. There we go. Bale out. Ventilator off. Vent looks to me in pretty good shape. It's had a couple of hits, so it's uh, yeah, it's not bad. A little bit of cleanup, it'll be good. And then our unfortunately cracked globe uh, has just a real bummer. It looks like it got hit right up here at the top. So um, I've got another globe that I can uh, use for testing. It's interesting. It's got, it's still got the. It looks like it's got the bugs baked down there from the last time it was used. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, get this old mantle off of here. Get that out of here. Yeah, it's gonna need a little bit of, little bit of cleanup here. But uh, again, these things are all stainless, so it doesn't take a whole lot to get them to polish right out. And everything should be fine. Just wanna get this uh, loosened up, so we're gonna use the, the heat trick here to get a little bit of gentle heat on here to uh, get it to move because usually what happens is that uh, this gets gummed up a little bit and then it doesn't want to move but once we get the heat in here that varnish softens and then we're able to turn the tip cleaner and then everything works so that part is hopefully going to work so let's see if we get any success with this no not yet a little bit more so yeah i think what we're going to do here is uh get the thing to pump up see if we can get this unfreed and uh if it pumps up then uh, the next step will be tearing this down and then once it's torn down i'm going to polish this fount and uh i really don't probably want to subject you to to watching the fountain being polished because y'all have seen it a number of times. Okay, we're getting a little little bit of movement, but not much, boy. Requiring a little bit more heat than I expected, but it's all right. And you'll see that I'm not putting the point of the the blue point of the flame right at it. I'm staying pretty far away because I want this to heat to be to be gentle. I don't want to just be just killing it to death because you still have a graphite packing in there and I really don't want to wreck that so yeah there we go now she's moving nice okay good all right so unstuck that's excellent this is the thing I like about these is that it takes it takes so little to get these things working and they will work as good as the day that you bought them. Uh, which, incidentally, for this one here, the day it was made was, let's see, March of 1957. And uh, it's in really, really nice shape on the bottom. Uh, the, the, it doesn't look like much here, but uh, that will, will polish up awful nice. So um, we'll see how that goes. So we're going to go ahead and make sure this kind of stays. Oh, yeah, this is... Move them just like it should. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to take this and uh, make sure I got a, a little bit of a paper towel to work with here, because this obviously is going to be oiling. And um, move some of these other things out of the way here. And uh, see if we can kind of, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do but see if we can kind of work this leather a little bit. I like the, the idea of soaking these because then it gets on, uh, on both sides 
inside, outside, and underneath everywhere. And so that's good. So I'm just trying to kind of stretch it back out a little bit. It feels pretty good. It's definitely a lot more pliable than it was. Uh, and it was sounding like it was trying to want to work already. So we're going to we're gonna hope against hope here and just kind of work this back in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, no problem. We got, we got pressure already, so that's excellent. So uh, cap that back up, and then we want to get these two screws back in here, so that way I don't lose the screws. Uh, I'm gonna use my screw starter for these because they're really, really tiny and hard to futz with. So, oops. These are, these are even smaller than what I've seen before. I don't know if the screw starter is going to work on them because it's, yeah, it's just, it's just spitting it right back out. So I guess we won't be using that. I, uh, I moved my swamp cooler in anticipation of cooler weather. And as a result, obviously it's not here, it's on the patio. So that's not real helpful. Because right now it's just uh, it's just hot here, so that's not not so great. So I'm trying to get this thing lined up in here. These screws are so fiddly. There we go. It goes in nice. test which is what I want to hear just to understand if we've got a need for a generator or not okay so that is in there nicely so is that valves closed open this up oh yeah just wanting to pump up like nobody's business just a little bit of oil on there, and away she goes. That should be enough for a hiss. Oh, yeah. Well, that's still pretty stiff. But, you know, running this thing will, um, will definitely make it... Uh, feel a little bit better so uh where are we at so we know that we are we've got a new gasket in we've got the the leather soaked and pliable and flexible again we've unstuck this although unstuck is i mean i can move it with a pair of pliers pretty easily but with my fingers it's a little bit more difficult so um you know i may i don't normally do this but we may run just a dot of uh, PB Blaster on this thing and uh, see if it doesn't soak down in there. I don't want it to go everywhere, just somewhere. <laughs> anyway, so sometimes that um, graphite can benefit from a little bit of oil going by it. So we'll see. PB Blaster is pretty good at um, getting in there. So, mm, man, it is. Yep, I think that running it will definitely help it, and uh, it, it may also be the fact that someone may have really reefed down on that uh, on that packing nut there and has caused it to kind of get a little bit bound up. So um, what I'm going to do now uh, is continue the disassembly on here, and we're going to go ahead and just pull it down to the fount so we can see what we got to deal with there, which honestly really is... Um, Probably not anything really major. I mean, it's just a matter of pulling this off. Okay. And uh, as I've said before with these, I always take the generator off last. I pull this off first, then you get really easy access to the generator. So this is just, uh, you know, this will clean right up. A little bit of uh, the steel wool right here 
when you rub on it will will bring that stainless right back without too much trouble so uh, looks like it had a little bit of heat applied to it here in certain areas who knows maybe they had a uh, uh, a mantle blowout or something or who knows what but uh, yeah we'll get that kind of cleaned up and polished up the uh, collar here we just kind of give it well actually this is where we need to take the um, this off I think this is still the same thing here you know ooh, that was that was really loose that that could have been a reason for excitement cardboard tubes right there we'll get the turn out let's see what kind of shape the generator is in here well still got a pricker needle um yeah tube comes off just a little bit of cleaning it'll probably be fine i don't think there's anything wrong with the generator at all so that won't need to be replaced just be able to clean it up a little bit um these always have two washers here. Don't lose those. So you don't want to lose that. And um, from here, we'll just kind of give this a, a bit of a squeeze and then it'll come right off this way. If I get this in the right orientation. Uh, there we go. And we'll give that a little bit of a, a polish up too because it's, uh, it's a little bit grubby, but that should, uh, that should polish up all right. Um, the rest of this is just yeah this just needs to be uh, have a little bit of mothers and and some steel wool which we happen to have right here so normally on these i would just go ahead and and use oven cleaner to clean the nickel on it but this one has like a perfect water slide decal on it and i do not want to damage that so we're going to have to do this one the old fashioned way. So that's elbow grease and the, uh, and the, uh, and the uh, tri uh, quadruple uh, steel wool. But just to kind of see what we're dealing with here, we're going to do a little test spot to see how it looks. And then uh, I'll go ahead and I'll continue on off camera. So it's not a, a situation where you guys are just like, oh my God, do we really need to watch you polish this whole thing? So, oh um, uh, yeah, so I can see here from this little bit of effort that, I don't know, I don't know if it's, if the nickel is gone. I'm seeing a lot of brass. This thing looks quite green. So uh, we may end up with a, uh, a lantern that is pretty much virtually brass and the, the nickel is gone on it, which, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit disappointing. Let's see. Yeah, maybe someone before me has kind of done it. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty well <laughs> missing the nickel. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. It's almost at this point you kind of decide, well, do I want to polish it or do I want to just keep the patina? Hmm. I kind of want to polish it out, but maybe it's other spots. I mean, because like up here where someone wasn't able to get to it, which is underneath the collar. If we do this right here, this is kind of what I was expecting. Because if we do that, <laughs> the nickel on that is great. Uh, yeah, so that was your a, a millisecond view there, but the nickel on that is really in pretty nice shape, but this is, the nickel on that is just kind of missing. So, um, yeah, it's going to, I mean, <laughs> where it was, it looked like it was really good, but where it isn't, it's obviously not there. Looks like we've had some folks, oh yeah, it's still holding pressure too, so... Yep, that's good. Uh, so anyway, I think that's kind of where we're gonna we're gonna park it here for this video because no one wants to sit here and watch me polish this thing out. And um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that just because it it looks a little a little rough, and then the patina will even out, and maybe it'll be better. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I think it it's gonna need to get polished all the way out. But uh, at any rate, that is where we have ended up with this. Um, 
Oh, let me let me just do one other thing here because this this these are uh, generally stainless steel collars, so they usually clean up really nice. So we'll just do a quick little scrub a do here and uh, and see how it looks. Yeah, this I can tell it already feels pretty good underneath the uh, underneath the steel wool there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see that'll polish up really nice. So that's the unpolished side there and then that's after we kind of buffed on it a little bit. But it just doesn't take, it doesn't take a whole lot and uh, it'll clean up pretty nice so that'll be good. But yeah, we'll um, see where we can get with this here. I mean, the fountain's in great shape. It's just that uh, it has, man, all of the nickel is pretty much corroded. I mean, you can look at it and it looks kind of brassy as it is. So, uh, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the unfortunate bit about it. But that is where we're gonna put the brakes on this one here. So the next time that you see this, uh, it'll be cleaned up and uh, we'll be putting it back together and then uh, we'll be getting it fired, which uh, I don't think will present us any trouble whatsoever. Hopefully we don't have any stuck fuel air tubes or, or fuel metering rods in here and it's just a, a real simple uh, reassembly process and then we're, we're good to go. But that's it for this one. So until next time, keep them lit.